So Tuesday was a really good day for the Democrats in elections, and I wrote a song about it. Today, hooray, it seems things gonna be okay. Even if this feeling only lasts for a few days. Ed Gillespie, he lost his campaign. Premised on the idea immigrants rape and cause pain, yeah. For the first time since we elected the groper in chief, it seems the forces of racism can be beat. Because it wasn't only the win in Virginia that felt good. There were like a lot of elections that felt good. Dana Carome in openly transgendered poll. She won her race, yeah, she rocks and rolls. Literally, she's the lead singer of a heavy metal band called Cab Ride Home. Which is awesome. Her opponent, Bob Marshall, a man full of hate. He called himself the chief homophobe in the state. That's exactly what he called himself. Which is kind of crazy, because usually if the words chief homophobe are being used, it's because you're accusing somebody else, or because it's the name of a baseball mascot. But it's not usually what people call themselves, unless they really hate gay people. And that wasn't the only election. Ravi Bala, he's a baller. And not just because he's a civil rights lawyer. This week he became the first Sikh mayor. Living in New Jersey, living on a prayer. But my favorite winner this cycle was Ashley Bennett. She's a new county rep from Atlantic County, New Jersey. And she beat the incumbent, this guy, John Carmen. Carmen faced criticism this past year when photographs of him surfaced wearing a Confederate flag patch in the shape of New Jersey. If the options for displaying the Confederate flag are heritage or hate, and you're displaying it in New Jersey, it's definitely not heritage. Now, you might have thought that Ashley Bennett opposed him because of his embrace of Confederate ideology. But no, it's not because John Carmen's racist, it's because he's misogynist. This year, at the time of the Women's March, John shared a meme on Facebook wondering if the protesters would be home in time for dinner. And Ashley heard about it, and she decided to run. Ashley Bennett, don't take kindly to unkind memes that mock her gender and demean. But she don't get mad, no, she gets even when she says she'll run for office. Do not stop believing. Oh, oh, maybe our good luck will extend a little more. We got an Alabama Senate race that surely ain't a bar. I'm starting to believe society may outgrow electing a senator pedo oh, oh i hope so